Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I want to show you WPVR, which is a plugin that lets you create virtual tours in WordPress. Now there's going to be two questions that you're going to ask yourself. One, is it hard to do? And no, you're going to see that in this video. And two, do I need a 360 camera? And no, that's also a no. That's optional. Now in this case and in this video, I created two scenes. One scene is created with a 360 camera, which is my GoPro Max. And the second scene will be created with my phone. So I took a panoramic picture, a 360 picture with my phone. So you can create these tours for your business, for if you want to offer the service to someone, and it's super easy to do. Now in my description, I'm going to leave a link to the tour that I created so you can check it out live preview and see how it, how it flows and how it works. And two, I'm going to leave the link for the affiliate link. If you guys like what you're seeing, if you guys like this video and you found it helpful, please check out that link. It helps me out. It just gives me a commission. It won't cost you a single cent more. So let's jump into my desktop and show you how this WPBR works. Hey, what's up guys? This is Rec Theme Side and you can check out their demo, but in this video, we're going to check out my demo. So let's go jump into a site I manage. So this is a real site that I created and this is a 360 view of a 360 camera. So we're able to move it around and I actually added some music to this one. So if I click on it, it's going to play some music. So check it out. I can pause the music right there. I can move it around. I can see the, the roof. I can see the bottom. I can move it around as this way. I can zoom if I want. I have over here, zoom. Whoops, sorry to scroll. I can unzoom. Now, if I want, I can disable the zoom or give a certain percentage of zoom because maybe if you zoom too much, it's gonna look too blurry. So you can move that around. Now, in this video, you can add second scenes. You can add some notes right here. So for example, if I hover over this, it's gonna say, well, obviously it's in Spanish, parrilla, which is uh, range. That's, that's what you call it in English. And I have this little arrow right here. And these icons can be modified. They can be different. You can change colors. In this case, they are orange because that's the branding of this site. So let's go into this scene over here. So let me click on it. And it goes to a second scene. Now this second scene is taken with my phone. So this is not a 360 view. I can move up and down, but at, at to a certain point. Now I wouldn't recommend using this if you are at a close distance, right? So right here, everything's really close. So you can't really appreciate what's going on. So I wouldn't recommend using your phone if it's really close. If it's like a park, if it's an outdoor, is it a, if it's a big store, then it's no problem. You're good to go. In the other case, I recommend you use a 360 camera like the first scene. So if I go back to the first scene, you can see I have a big view because it's a 360 camera. You can move it around. Now the quality of this is going to depend on the camera that you have. In this case, you can edit images also on Photoshop before uploading. So it's pretty cool that you can do all this. Now, and I'll talk about this tour. Like I said, if you guys want to check this out, the link will be in the description. So let's go jump into the actual editor. So this is WPVR, the introduction. They got tutorials. Um, I recommend that you spend some time checking out the tutorials. It's easy to use, but it's like trial and error at the beginning. So you're going to be moving around some and tweaking things until you get it right. So let's go and jump into a tour that I created right here. Let's go to edit and we're going to actually see the one that's live over there. Now this is the main settings for this tour. You can see it over here. It's already working here, tour preview. And there's a lot of options. First off, you got the basic settings. So right here you can click and upload an image. I didn't upload an image because in my case, I want the tour to begin as soon as it loads because I created a page specifically for it. But if the tour is not going to start at the beginning, you add an image. You can add rotation to it like I did. You can disable it if you don't want to use it. In this case, I set it to five seconds. Now you saw me counting. That means five seconds and it's going to start moving again. And if I move it with my mouse, it's going to stop. Tour auto load, in this case, yes. Show controls, you can remove that if you want. You got the advanced controls and you can disable keyboard movement controls. You can disable, for example, mouse zoom control. Now, this is a quick tip. Why did I disable it? Because when you are scrolling on a site that's in your trackpad or your mouse, if you scroll inside that video, it's going to zoom in or zoom out. So I disable it, but it's up to you if you leave it or not. Maybe your site is just where the, where the tour is and you don't have anything else, then it's okay. You can use that. And you got more options right here that you got to change. And tour background music, I added my own. You can disable it if you don't want to. 
You can disable autoplay or you can loop it if it's a short song, all that's capable. Control buttons. Now you saw my control buttons look nice. They look orange because that's the branding of the site. You can change that here. You can change colors and you can change the icon to something else. You just search around here, for example, arrow, and you can change it. Now I'll leave it like, I, like it is because that's how I want it. Those are the basic settings. And then the fun starts over here, scenes. So in scenes is where you're gonna add your own tour, like if, through images, right? So in this case, this is the image for that first one you saw. Now here in the bottom, you can see some black. Well, that's the tripod. But in my case, I edited it right here. So I limit vertical scene grab. So that means it's, gonna, it's not gonna be able to load as far as where the tripod is. Now, like I said, it's a little bit of trial and error. So you'll change the minimum pitch right here and you'll start off with 100 and just move it around and you're, you're gonna find out what works best for you. And as soon as you like, the tripod doesn't look, in that tour, then you can leave it like that. You can also limit the horizontal view. So for example, let's just say, and I'll show you in this case, right? So this is the store, this is a preview, and over here is just windows, right? Why would you wanna see windows? So in this case, I could set the tour so it stops there, and it goes this way, all the way to the other side, and it stops there, as soon as you don't see windows again. So you could do that if you need to do it, right? So that's capable, super easy to do. You set your ID, you set the title, and all this anchor stuff, pitch and yawn, for example, set default scene phase. So as soon as it loads, I want to set a default site uh, uh, image, sorry. So for example, when I move this around, check how these numbers move. So for example, the pitch and yawn. So if I click here, let's just say this is the first view. I'll click here and I'll load this pitch and I'll load the yawn over here. So that, that's the start Im the image. So like I said, it's easy. If you need a new scene, you add it right here. So this is my second scene over here. Now the second scene is loaded here. And like I said, this is a phone image. This is not a 360 image and you can see it right here. Now remember that we couldn't scroll up or down as far because if, I'll show you the bit. I'll, for example, right here, max pitch and minimum pitch. If I remove these, I'll remove one of them. I'll put it to zero. So I'll update the preview. Let's go back to that second scene and see how this black is right there because the phone image didn't reach that part. It's not a 360 image. So I limit it to that, so I'll add it back. So these are things that, for example, depending on your, your image size, those numbers will change. So this might not work for you. You might need 25 minus 25 or minus 30 and like that. So like I said, you play around. It's a little bit of trial and error, but at the end of the day, it's easy. It's just, you check it out. Every time that you move something, you can preview it. And once you like it, you update it easy. Next thing is these little hot spots right here. Now check it out. I can hover over it. I can create a clickable hotspot. I can create a scene hotspot right here. And those are right here. Now a little trick that you must know. And in this version, I hope they like do something else. Um, when you want to edit a hotspot right now, we're viewing the second scene. So if I want to edit hotspots for a second scene, I have to select it here. And then I go to hotspot. And if I want to go to the first scene, I go over here and I see the hotspots for the first scene. I hope they make it a little bit easier over here with a little drop down so you can edit hotspots for the scenes with a drop down instead of going back and checking those. So for example, this is a scene for, for this one and I got two hotspots right here. So it's one and two. One is an info and one is a scene. You give them an ID, you give them a pitch of where you want it. And for example, if I click my mouse over here, so for example, if I click on this lady that's back here, Click on that, I get a pitch and a yawn. So that is where the point is going to be, that little hot spot. And in that hot spot, I can create a scene or info. In this case, it's a scene, and then I select the scene right here. So the target scene is gonna be this one, and that's the way it jumps to the next one. So you can create a walking tour, and they'll see these little arrows, and they'll, okay, that's another scene, and I'll jump and go see this. In this case, in this and in this store, it's just like the front and the back. The middle is like office, so I don't, want to, I don't want them to see that. So in this case, it's only two scenes, and that's why I have the hotspot to jump to the second scene right here. Easy peasy. Next hotspot is a info hotspot. In the hotspot, you got three types of hotspots. So you got the info, and you can add an URL right here. So if they click on it, they jump to an URL. A hover, oh no, sorry, on click content. So that means when they click on it, you can show a video, you can show more information, and 
images, just a whole bunch of stuff. It actually works like an HTML. You can see this right here. Or if I hover over it, it's gonna show something. So if I hover, it shows that. And if I click on it, in this case, it's gonna show a video. You see that? And they could play on it. I won't play it right now. Whoops. But really easy. I mean, you hover over it and it's really cool because you can add an image of, of a closer look of what that I what it is and it's super easy to do. And you can set the icon right here. So for example, in this place, we don't see the live preview, but over here, we do see a little fire. Do you see that? Because that's the icon that I set. And you can change the color and you can set the animation so it kind of glows and people see, oh, okay, that's something that's going on right there. So that's about it. I mean, that's how you create this tour. I mean, you just play around a bit, you add some scenes, you add some hotspots, and it's ready to go. The rest of these things are different type of scenes that you can create. Well, not scenes, different type of tours that you can use. So for example, if you have a 360 video, you can edit that tour, you can add that link right here, and you could set that tour to be a visual video on this on the on the virtual tour. So it was it won't work with scenes and hotspots, it'll work as a video. Same thing goes with Street View. So in Street View, you can use Google Maps. So if there's already something there that you want to use, you can add it. But this will replace the other things. So be careful. This happened to me. And what happened is that I had everything set up, my scenes and my hotspot. And I said, hey, I just want to check it out for fun. I checked it out and I updated and I, oh man, I lost everything that I've done. So be careful. Create a brand new one before playing around with the, with the video and the Street View. And you can also export it to import it somewhere else. Super easy to do, super easy to view. It's a plugin that I, I recommend because it's gonna let you create like a brand new separate business. For example, I have a marketing agency and now I can offer this to clients. So once I get this tour working really, really nice with some really cool hotspots and all that, I can actually show my clients, hey, I could do this for you. If it's a restaurant, if it's some other type of business, then they could see that this is capable of. And they just added also a WooCommerce plugin integrated to this, so you can also use it with WooCommerce. So that's pretty cool. Well, guys, there's the, the virtual tour that I just showed you. And like I said, this is Rec Themes uh, plugin. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. Like I said, it's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more to use it, but it'll help me out get a little bit of money so I can make these videos for you guys and keep upgrading my gear to make them even better. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SASMaster. I'll see you guys later.